We're on. Yep. We are live. How's it going? Good. How 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 did the castle building go today? What what did you uh um accomplish in in your first few hours building? Not a lot. I mean, it's pr it's pretty tall, and it's kind of it's a few steps more complicated than the submarine he built for me. So, um. He, we just did like the doorway for the drawbridge that comes down into the moat, which I'm sitting on in a boat. So, even in the moat, the, the moat? moat, the moat or a boat? What I'm, si <laughs> I'm sitting in a boat on in the moat, a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat. <laughs> nice. So, so we are. The castle. Oh, is. the castle is begun. We are just uh, have the gate, the entryway, and we are um, going to start building out from there. I just wanted to make sure that uh, we had enough clearance for her, for this one to be able to get through, and <laughs> maybe for her her friends. And uh, it's uh, sturdy. I used the duct tape. I found the duct tape. I was looking for the duct tape for a long time, but uh, after looking around for a long time, and I said, what about that box there? And sure enough, the duct tape was all in the box there. <laughs> so we have it all started, and um, we're just going to keep building from here. I think it should, should be uh, put together fairly quickly, quicker than I thought it would go. You think? I think After so. After what you've done today, how much yeah. longer do you think, how many days do you think it'll take? I would say through the weekend, maybe. Oh. If we have time, I mean, see the the problem is is that we have there's other things we have to do. So if I if I have the time to be able to do it all, then then I, I think I can get it done. Yeah, I don't know if we'll continue to have the kind of time we did today. Right, we've got a lot to get done before right. next week. Right, we got all the service dog. But stuff. maybe, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what do you think? How much longer do you think it's going to take to get your castle done? Probably at least five more days. Because you 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 need to like cut out all the walls and get the ceilings and tape cover all the, it. We gotta yeah, get the cover the... it. Put all the stuff on it. People are talking about the chirping. Yes, we still have chirping. They were working on the castle today, so we did not uh, take the time to go around and do the smoke detectors yet. But there is still time. We can do it after we get off the live or or later tonight after Anna goes to bed. So don't worry, folks. We'll get it done. <laughs> That's not something you have to remind us about. We hear and, it. <laughs> and, and, and we'll get it done so you don't have to listen to it. So I promise. Um, tonight, what are we doing tonight? You, Tom. We are doing Disgusting. something that I haven't Disgusting. done since the 1970s when I was a small child wandering through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> on a nature hike. Um, we are going to be dissecting owl pellets. So uh, if you didn't know, owls are kind of like cats. They cough up fur balls, but in their case, they, they cough up fur balls that have bones and bits of, of the, the little critters that they feed on. So... We're going to check it out and see if we, what kind of things we might find. What do you think will be in there, Anna? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Wage some guesses. Let's go. What, what do you think is inside? Probably a little tiny, like, maybe sticks or whatever owls, like, eat on or maybe <laughs> some things they eat. Or... What kind of things do owls eat? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Oh, maybe we should do some research before we start dissecting. What do you think? This is, after all, your science curriculum. So, are are what what do you know? Owls are they predators? Are they do they eat seeds or do they eat creatures? Uh, I think they eat like seeds or something. You think? Maybe. Well, why would they need to be real quiet when they fly so they can sneak up on a plant? <laughs> Let's see if we can find anything in your wildlife wild book. Wild. Let's, Let's move. see if there's anything about owls in there. Let's move all this stuff all out right. of the way. Here's the contents. Look in the, look in the uh, this guy here in the back. Owls. 
Does it say owls? You got some owls yeah, in there? Yeah, we got some. We got some owls. We got some owls. All right. Okay, okay. 120, 164. 120. And if you've never seen owl pellets in the wall, well, in the foil, <laughs> this is what they look like. We got this pack. I ordered it online. So there's a few, few nuggets in there. One twenty-four. Ah, uh, here we go. All right, let let Anna read real quick. You wanna? Oh, great gray owl. Anna, you wanna read real quick about the great gray owl out loud so people can learn something about him? Yeah. Says this owl's thick insulation makes it look large, but its body is actually much smaller and layer than the eagle. Than the eagle owl or great horned owl. A less fearsome predator, the great gray owl focuses on small prey, often in difficult conditions. The disc like face, more than 20 and 50 centimeters wide, suggests ex astonishingly acute hearing, although the owl's small eyes seem more suited to daylight than nighttime activity. Unusually for an owl, it hunts by day and at night. The facial feathers. The what? Start the facial feathers let sound through, through easily, but protect what is hidden behind. An arc of stiff feathers that direct sound right into the. What? <laughs> right into the what? Right into the. Asymmetric. Asymmetrically positioned ears. Oh, the asymmetrically positioned ears. What does asymmetrical mean? I don't know. Do you know what symmetrical means? Like. What is symmetrical? What is symmetry? Like the other half of something. Yes, but it's like a matching half, right? Mm -hmm. So if something is symmetrical, it's exact. It matches on opposite sides. So if it's asymmetrical, then it's. Not same. Not matching. So they have asymmetrically positioned ears, which wow. means their ears aren't quite on exactly the same part of their head on each side. Hmm. Hmm. But it looks like they have no ears. Because look at Well, it's all covered by... That's what this is. It's like it helps channel all the sound into where their ears are. What else does it say? Let's see... This helps the owl to locate the source of sound with a pinpoint accuracy. With pinpoint accuracy. Great gray owls watch and listen for voles from a perch, often broken the tree often broken often a broken tree stump, and glide down silently to catch them, taking them by surprise. They can hear tunneling rodents under layers of snow and penetrate sixteen to twenty inches, plunging headfirst with the final thrust of their deadly feet. Found mainly in the north, a small population of great gray owls remains in the Sierra Nevada of California. Hmm. They say anything about what, what they eat in there? Yeah, you just read it. What did they say? There was an animal that they mentioned that you saw on your show about that, that forest in England. What did they eat? Great horned owl. That's the only other one. No, I, I can't see. I don't. I Start read. with a V. Yeah. You just read it. Start with a V. V O L E S. Voles. Mm -hmm. What are they? They were in your show that you watched. You didn't watch you know, the show about voles? They were trying to reintroduce them back into the the habitat. Mm -hmm. Well, they're like they're like small rodents, right? The rodents. Yeah. And uh, so, if they eat that, then clearly they're not um, herbivores, right? They mm -hmm. eat what? They're probably carnivores. They eat other animals creatures. So let's check this out. 
Here is a guide that comes with, and we'll, we'll get to, we're gonna move the plate over. We'll put the pellets on there. Are they wrapped in tin foil? Yes, they are wrapped in tin foil. <laughs> they, they come that way. <laughs> um, check this out. This came with them. So, what can you see on here? Bone sorting guide. Mm hmm. Hmm. What does it say? What does it say? Share with our yeah, friends. Keep it everybody in suspense. Yeah. Let's see. Where's. Just read the names of the animals and. There's a, there's a mole. There's a skull top. Mandible. Hum. Mandible. Clavicle. Clavicle, humerus, scalpula, pelvis, femur, fibula, and tibia. And true. And then radius and ulna. Those are the only new ones except for all of them. Rodents. The same ones. And then bird has this one. Bird is not what we're doing. So. And it's that one. Other prey insects, grasshoppers, beetles, or moths, and there's also crayfish. Mm -hmm. So let's do this bone sorting guide. Yeah, let's, let's check it. it out. Let's open up one of them. You've got some tools there. What tools do you have? Uh, we have. We got some. We, we got a ruler. Uh huh. A little poker thingy. Uh huh. <laughs> poke around in there. Yeah. yeah. What else? Some tweezers. Mm-hmm. Tweezers. And? Knife. Yeah. And one more. A magnifying glass. Perfect. All right. Well, All right. Let's, what do you always say? Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> let's dig in. All right. Which one do you want to start with? Um, how about this one? This guy. <laughs> How do you open it? Wrapped so much. Very carefully. What do you think it looks like? I don't know. Just inside the tin foil. Any guesses? Mm -mm. You can't. Any guesses what it might look like? Mm -hmm. What um, color do you think it is? Oh whoa! Whoa! What is it? Oh! It really looks like a hairball. Oh my goodness! Let's show. Can we bring it closer for a moment? Uh, it's blurry. Try to go up. You're too low. There we go. Look at that. You know what it reminds me of? Oh, don't drop it. <laughs> it reminds me of, um, I used to get Mimi these, uh, it's all blurry. I used to get Mimi these catnip balls. They were like hard balls of catnip. Uh -huh. That's what it reminds me of. All right. Well, that looks pleasant, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, cut it. Get a little... Carefully cut it. A little closer. Carefully cut it. There might be some bones in there. It looks like a poop. <laughs> Ooh, that's Is it hard? hard. Do you need a better knife? I just remember we used to break them open by hand. But... Oh, really? But then if there's bones, do the bones get broken? Mm -hmm. Would you like a, um, adult utensils? I can grab you some. Here, I'll... I'll... Aaron? Well, I think I, I think I can get this. I think I can. You don't want adult utensils? No, I think I got it. Okay. Let's move, move your hands back a little bit so the camera can see. Oh, I see some bones. Oh, wow. Hmm. What do you see, Anna Banana? A bone. Do you? Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't keep cutting it. I want to check on that. Lisa wants to know if it smells bad. Hmm. Not really. No? Hmm. Doesn't have a smell? It's just dry? Yeah, it's just dry. Oh, look, this is a whole bone here. Oh, Anna, check it out. Hmm. Looks like a 
It's like some kind of a pelvis bone. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. Is this a skull? <gasps> what? A, skull. a whole skull? No, that's not a skull. Uh, I can't tell. No, it's, can it's we, not a skull. Uh, bring it so we do it over where, where people can. I can't see where. where right. Set it, set it, move back towards her a little bit. Okay. Um, and, and towards the window a little bit. And then right, right there. Okay, Meg. But, but you keep it in your hand right in, mm -hmm. in front of the camera. <laughs> you see? Here, let's show try everybody. And, yeah, because I can't bring Watch out, in. I don't want to put this on your face. Tripod. Check this out, guys. Ah! Yeah, let's move those off of the plate. And then I, I can angle it to make sure that they can see. It does look like a skull. It does look like a little skull. I don't see any you skull see tops. That? I don't see any skull tops Here. that match that. You have to you have to kind of dig it out, right? Yeah. To get a better sense. It's kind of like excavating a, a fossil, like a dinosaur fossil. Weird. Basically huh. is. Deb says, get your magnifying glass. She just had the little one. Where is, do you know where your bigger magnifying glass is? No? Mm -mm. We probably haven't unearthed it yet. We still have some school boxes to go through. Kind of that. Let's see. I think Kelly I'm... wants to know if they are moist. No, they're just... It's, uh... It's... Dry. Pretty dry, yeah. You look like Anna. It's like um. It's pretty neat that you found a huge uh, chunk like that in your first one. Yeah. To me, it looks like it might be the top of the shrew. A top of a shrew, mm -hmm. you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tammy, this this might not be the proper live to uh, eat dinner while watching. I did put it big, big words in the title that we were doing dissection, just so people would know before they click in what was going on. That's definitely a shrew. Jeff says, ooh, it could be a shrew. It's very, very shrew like. Michelle wants to know what bone the chart shows for the skull. Does it show the skull on the chart? Yeah. It's at the very top of each one. Is it that pointy? Could be a mole. Or just some rodent. Just rodent. Just a, yeah, it's, it's more just round. A gen generic did you, did you rodent. Dig it out? Uh, it's as much as I can. What's it look like, Anna? What's it look like? Do you see it? Is it cool? He he I just don't want to one? damage it. You right, know? If right. I do it anymore, I don't want to start cracking it. Here, can I see it? Yeah. I'm trying to zoom in from don't here. Don't breathe on this stuff. Yeah, yeah don't blow the... The stuff around. Oh, that's as close as I can get. She's looking at it through the magnifying glass. Pretty crazy. It might be a rodent. Mm. Rebecca says this is gross and cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a rodent. The rodent. Can I, I bring it closer to the camera one it's more time? A rodent time? with no mouth. It's now. been kind of cleared off. Let them get a, a better look. Oh, weird, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's let's dig in another piece from that one. <laughs> Sharon says, Nana, is this going in the Amazon affiliate store? I mean, if people are interested, I think we started a homeschooling um, we did, section yeah. on the store, did we? Yeah, so we, we could add it in there if I didn't already. 
Lisa says, what, what surrounds the bones? What is the hard greenish stuff? It's fur. It's fur? Yeah. So it's all the clumped up fur from the animals that they ate. Yeah, it's probably, and, and Can't like, reach it. um, it's like the same kind of stuff that a, we'll get it in a second, Anna. Like the same kind of stuff that a, a cat coughs up with the hairball, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's pretty much it's a hairball. Like saliva and fur and all that kind of stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> disgusting. Well, you can use the baby wipes. Yeah. That's what we brought them over for. Like I said, I'm happy to get you some more adult utensils that might work better and not cause it to fly around so much. I think I, think I got it. Susie says, whatever it is, it's quite... Yeah. <laughs> Oop. Bunch of little bones. You see the bones, Anna? The little bitty bones? The little tiny yeah. bones. Baby bones. That one you just pulled out. Here, can you give me that bone that you just pulled out? Oh, is that a bone? Yep. Can you get it with the tweezers, Anna? I think so. If you start over the board. <laughs> she got it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good job, baby. Nice work. That's a little bone. Can you tell by the map or the guide what kind of bone it might be? Maybe the femur. A little femur bone? Yeah, a little tiny femur. Probably a femur of a rodent. Interesting. Either the femur or... Let's see. Okay, I think it's the femur. I break it. Don't squeeze it a lot. I know, I'm trying to be careful. Can you guys see that? Back on frame. No. So it focuses. Focus. It's hard. It's hard. Camera that's doesn't a, want to pick it up. That's a rodent femur. It is. It's a little tiny bone there. You get any other bones? Oh, it's a little bones. Yeah, bone. Can you bring over the all the little bones? Just a bunch of little bones. Little tiny little bones. Well, you could crack open another one and see if you can find something larger. Yeah, cr crack open the biggest one that's left. Courtney says, I need to get this for my daughter, who's also homeschooled. Let me double check and see real quick if I do already have it in the Amazon store or not. That's Aaron's art. Yeah. No, not yet. I will have to add them after the live. Because we also have, that we're going to do at a later time, a... Brain. Check this out. Brain dissection kit. Oh, yeah. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> Can you do that one? Hmm? Can you do that Can I do that one? one? Yes. <laughs> I can help with that. That's a one. little bit too for me. <laughs> yeah. Can I see it? Check it out, guys. It's legitimate. Can I see it? Whoa. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Giant. Yeah, that one's probably going to have some odor to it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I get that. Uh, Michelle says, brain dissection is so cool. Nancy says, bring it on. <laughs> brain. Yeah, the brain is gross. You've done it. Brain from what animal? It says it is the brain of a sheep. Or sheep. I don't think that they have they you know i'm sure they were used that was just yeah they're like used all the parts. the parts if you're going to use it use all the parts yeah. barbara says a cow eyeball is interesting to dissect a cow eyeball i don't think anyone could just dissect a cow eyeball they have they do no, it all the time We don't have to do all of these tonight. We can save some for another time. Anna? Yeah. How many I, are there? 
like six. Six. So maybe we'll save half of them for another time. So one more. Let, let's do the smallest, smallest one. The smallest okay, one. I want to need that thing. Oh, you're going to need what? This. Oh, the, the yeah. tweezers. Hold it so I can. We can't see you keep moving. Sorry. Turn that away from the camera. What's going on? Looks like a frog right now, huh? It's a little old. Christina says, I had to dissect the sheep brain in college. It wasn't too bad, but I don't gross out easily. We also did a cow eye and a whole cat Aww. in anatomy. That's what you do in anatomy class in college. What do you think about that? That's cool. You think that you, you would want to do that's that? Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I know. It is all that kind of stuff that you've been into. Yeah. Kathy says, I would have to wear a full hazmat suit for this project. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just wash your hands really well afterward. This thing is not going to. I feel like I'm going to break bones in here. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm in the room. Like you're using kind there of evil tools. Get it? I see a bone. You see a bone? Is it a big one or a little one? It's kind of substantial. But... Don't break it. Don't break it. Hey, I see a bone. Right there. Use the tweezers to pick it out. It's right there. Right at the top. Get it. That Jennifer says we did rabbits in high school, and the one I had was had baby bunnies. Oh no! On the bunny with the the baby bunnies inside. Don't break it. Let's see. Did you see more than one bone in there, Anna? Uh. Just the one? Yeah, just one. Wait, no. Yeah, I, I saw two. I saw two. Part of probably was what's like a head. Probably saw like a head, part of a head or something. Wow. This is cool. You did a frog dissection, but it wasn't a real frog. It was like a yeah. pit. They kind of replicated. Simulated it. Yeah, simulated a frog dissection. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, Linda says, I dissected a frog in high school and it had a grasshopper in its belly. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's interesting. Oh, look at these bones right here. What are they? So, That's a humerus. It's like a giant drumstick. You found a humerus? It's like a drumstick. It's, it's, oh, wow. it's, a, it's, a, it's a shrew humorous. It's a shrew humorous? Yeah. Watch out, Anna. A humorous. Anna, watch. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Very interesting. It does look like a little drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a shrew humorous. A shrew humorous. They like their shrews. Either it's a shrew humorous or a mole femur. Mm, Mary Alice says, my son is an anatomy and physiology class, was in an anatomy and physiology class with real cadavers. Oh, whoa. Well. When they pulled the sheet back, one girl fainted dead away and fell unconscious on the floor. Oh, no. Wow. And her son's a paramedic, so he had to revive her. Oh, boy. Yikes. That one's a bone, I think. Oh, Trace says Alicia Silverstone is the actress who advocated for virtual frog kits in schools. Hmm. Which is what you did, right? Yeah. Whoa, this one's. What else do you see, Indiana? This one. It's this one. Look at this. Yeah, well, open it up a little bit more it and looks I'll. Looks like another. Looks like another shrew. It looks like another skull. Looks like maybe a bird skull, even. No. Yeah. Another skull? Looks like a bird a skull. A smaller one? Yeah. Or I don't know. Some type it's a of... shrew skull, I think. Maybe. 
might be a short skull. Let me just grab it so I can see. So we can see. I gotta turn it over. Wow, that is really interesting. Let me oh, see if yeah. I can zoom in a little bit. That is like no, that. I'm all the way zoomed in. Can you pick it up? Yeah. Laura says Anna is going to be a very important doctor someday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we are way down here. Um, up a little higher, right where my finger is. Okay, now give it a give it a chance to focus. I'm out of frame. No, it doesn't want to pick it up. Let me let me zoom out a little bit. Might be too close. There we go. Look at that. Look at that guy. Wow, that's definitely a skull. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like a little bird of some, or or it could be a it could be That's a small true. rodent. Neat. What do you think, Anna? Yeah. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah. You got some cool stuff out of these. Yeah. See, look. Do you yeah. see it? Do you see it's got like the little um like like, Eye like bone in the front, yeah. like where the front of the mouth would be. Oh yeah, see it's like orange. Yeah, yeah so that's why it's, daddy might be It's right. a bird, it's a bird. Yeah. Oh, Allie says the two yellow things at the front are the teeth of a small rodent. Oh. Oh so yeah, maybe they're like some two. kind of mouse or something. Yeah, I can see that. Huh. Very cool. Very interesting. Huh. All right. Very cool. You want you said you wanted to open the smallest one? Yes. Carol, which one's the smallest one? We'll put the other three back in the bag for now. She wants to do the smallest. Smallest, okay. I'm gonna get baby wipe and wipe that. Can I have the? Can you wipe baby wipe the tweezers for me, and I'll um. Um, let's do that afterwards because I don't want to get all gum. Yeah, and we'll stuff. we'll clean everything in the sink afterwards. We yeah. wash everybody's hands up. In fact, you should try not to touch your face. I know you haven't touched anything, but, but don't. just don't touch your face until we get done, okay? Just in case. One more. And then we'll say goodnight. See what's, <laughs> see what's in this one. <laughs> She's all excited. So this one I might be... It. I love how into science. Why do you like science so much, Anna? Because it's cool. Why is it cool? Hmm. I don't know. It's just cool. You don't know why you think it's cool? Mm -hmm. No. Do you, do you, what's your favorite kind? What are your favorite kinds of science? Hmm. Like chemicals or oh, animals? Yeah. Chemicals, animals. Um. Do you like biology? Yeah. Space. You've Ant always Antarctic been in stuff. Antarctic stuff. You've always been into anatomy right? yeah. since you were real little. You know all the parts of the body since you were like two. Yeah. All the bones, how things work, right? You learn about digestive systems mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. What do you find most interesting? Animals or humans? Probably animals. Yeah. Well, Sandra says, bone. "Blow your noses when you're done too." That's yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. We could do a saline. We could do a saline flush. We've got that. I'd like to blow my nose before the saline flush. But... Well, right, but I'm saying like we could we could make sure everybody's flushed out. That's a long. Lisa bone. says, "This doesn't even face her." I love it. I know she's she's really enjoying this. Patricia wants to know Anastasia. Mm -hmm. If you can suggest a science project she could get for her seven-year-old great-grandson for his birthday. What kind of science project would be super cool? You've done some different science projects over the last few months. Which ones do you remember the most? Hmm. Like what about the 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 saltwater robots? You had the oh yeah gecko. 
Uh, probably the gecko bot. That was that was really cool with the oh. vacuum. Yeah, he probably would like the gecko bot. Yeah, let me see. Is that in the Amazon store? Because that that helped you learn a little bit about. Yes, gecko bot is in the Amazon store, and that was a cool one because the vacuum and the tube system, and then you get to watch it walk. You get to build it and then watch it walk around. So yeah, a gecko bot would be a great recommendation, huh? What's this? Oh, no, it's a cluster of. Are, are you, does this one have nothing in it? Seems like it's something, but it's hard to tell what it is. G grab out all the um long bones. Here, you you want to grab another plate to put the uh, all the um plain bones that you find on? Yeah, we can do that after a live because we have to yeah. say goodbye in five minutes because we've already been on for a long time. Oh, what's that bone? I don't know. Let's up in this guy. Vicky wants to know if you've ever seen lightning bugs. Oh yeah, the um, what they called the um, fireflies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fireflies, like what we call them up in Michigan. Yeah. Yeah, Anna's seen quite a few of them. But funny story, Aaron saw his first one and only a single one last summer when we first met. When he was driving down to Florida with us, when we stopped in uh, North, Carolina, North Carolina in the Smoky Mountains, <coughs> in Appalachians. What's this? I don't know. Let's find out. What's this? What's this? <laughs> There's alpuk everywhere. <laughs> What's this? What's this? There's bones and hair. More little femurs. More femurs. Oh, yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah, what do you see? Oh, whoa. Um, that's weird. Yeah, no. It might be a rodent face. It might be a rodent face. I think so. Rodent face? It's another another rodent one? face, yeah. Wow. So I wonder if, I mean, I guess oh, if yeah. they, it, it would be yeah. like probably the whole animal, right? Because they eat the whole thing and then. Yeah. Cough up the owl pellet with, with all the bones of it. Stuff they there. couldn't digest, yeah. So maybe each pellet contains One pretty much guy. an entire animal. Wow. Mm. So is it a really small one? Because that was the smallest owl yeah, pellet. Yeah, you could see the same with the little teeth. Let me clear this out for you guys. Wow. Yeah, it has the yellow little teeth. That's the all right. rodent. Okay. Here we go. Can you get it back up? You're too close. Right up, right, right there. Wow. Look at that. There's another one. Yeah, definitely. Teeth. You can see the top of the skull, the eye sockets. That's that's super cool. Anna, what do you think about that? It's yeah, crazy, that's, huh? That's interesting, oh, yeah. Now you're out of focus. <laughs> well. That was really interesting. What do you think about this activity? Yeah, this you is, like it. <laughs> it's, a, it's very interesting. Yeah, it, it was, it'd be cool if we had better tools to really like clean it off really well. Yeah. Um, and really get some of the bones out, and then can maybe kind of like piece a body together. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, the Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Or um, I wonder if you wet them. I wonder if you, if you soak them. If you soak it, do you think it falls apart? Yeah, I'm sure that stuff have falls, sloughs off, I imagine. Does anybody know if you soak owl pellets, if you can... I would say pull them apart first, then brush them off as best you can, then soak the stuff. It would be easier. Yeah. So All right, well, practice. good job dissecting, you guys. Um, Anna, Daddy, nice work. Yeah. You guys need to go wash your hands before you touch yes. anything. Yes. <laughs> Let's say goodnight to everybody. Anna? Bye. <laughs> That's it? Just bye? No bye? Song. <laughs> no song? All right, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> do, 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 do. Science. Doodles. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Bye. <laughs> bye.